Today we're going to talk about SVG and zipped files. This ought to be fun. Hi everyone, this is Susan with Blue Vinyl Stickers. Welcome back to my channel today. Today I am going to try to take the mystery out of SVG and zipped files. Now, you might wonder why designers design in an SVG format and don't design in a uh, Studio 3 format. Well, the reason is, is that the Studio 3 file is a proprietary file for the Studio software. It, uh, you cannot uh, sell a Studio 3 file. So designers can sell you the SVG file. There's a lot of other reasons why you would use an SVG file as well, but that is the main one. So they sell you the SVG file and they usually put it with a uh, PNG file, which is a picture file, or a JPEG, which is also a picture file, um, and they may include the Studio 3 file. If they do, that's wonderful, but a lot of designers don't or they're not designing in Silhouette software, they're designing in some other so type of software uh, and are able to save in the SVG. SVG is pretty much uh, a universal design uh, that you can use in any of the design softwares. So let's go ahead and try to uh, explain what a zipped file is first and then uh, how to go about using the files that are inside the zipped file. So let me minimize this. And uh, what I've got here is a zipped file that uh, I downloaded. I actually created this myself for you guys. And I downloaded this and inside this file are three files. And I am gonna go ahead and right mouse click and I am going to unzip them to my uh, folder right here. Now let me sidetrack and say I do use a program called WinZip. It is a free program and um, I've been using it since the early 90s. So it's just common for me to use it. For Windows 10 users, and this is a PC, and this is Windows 10, uh, I do not know uh, anything about a Mac. I never have had a Mac and so I cannot speak to uh, unzipping or anything like that or this portion of the video for Mac users. I do apologize. Uh, this is strictly for PC uh, users. Uh, desktop and laptop, same thing. So uh, you should, with the Windows 10, if you are using the newest version of Windows 10, it should already have a uh, version or a uh, software that you can automatically unzip. Um, I don't know. I've always had WinZip. I've never tried uh, anything else. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to come down here to WinZip and I'm going to say unzip to here. Now if I had a whole bunch of uh, zipped files that I had downloaded into a folder and I wanted to make sure that each one of them stayed in its own folder so I didn't have to go uh, hunting for them in a big folder or big mess, I would go and say unzip to folder and it would unzip it to that folder. But since we only have the one, I'm gonna say unzip to here. And we're gonna give the computer a second to work. And there's what is inside of this fold or this zipped file is I have three folder or three files. One is the PNG, which is a picture file. One is the studio file. So if I just wanted to open that in or just click on that, it would open my studio uh, software and be ready for me to use. Or here is the SVG. So if I just click on this SVG, it is actually, if you look at the little pop-up there, it is actually a Microsoft Edge document. And that is what my computer has associated the .svg file to. Now you can change this. So watch, I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna come down here to properties. 
and I'm going to click on properties. And then I'm going to click on um, right here where it says Microsoft Edge and I'm going to click change. Now this is going to take me through a whole bunch of uh, options. I'm going to click more apps. I'm going to scroll down. I didn't find the Silhouette software there because the Silhouette software is an additional program not associated with um, the Windows program. And here is the uh, Express zip file compression. So it is on my uh, computer. I just don't use it. The other, the WinZip is my default zip. That's why it pops up. So we're going to come down here and say, look for another app on this PC. And what it'll do, it will bring you up to this PC and it will bring you to where all your program files are, where you have downloaded your uh, software to. And you're going to scroll down to Silhouette America and click. You're going to open up Silhouette Studio. Then you're going to find the .exe. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And now what it has done is it has associated this particular SVG with the Silhouette uh, studio software and we're going to click apply and say okay that's as simple as it is now uh, let me go ahead and uh, close my software and give it a second to recycle here and I am going to go ahead and double click and it should open up the silhouette software there we go because we associated the program with the .svg, it automatically just opened the uh, software. I'm going to give it a minute for it to load. And I think I mentioned in a previous uh, video, mine loads a little bit uh, slower because it has a lot of fonts in it. But anyway, so here it is. Here is your SVG. Now, if you want to take and go over to your send panel. Nope, still hasn't finished loading here. There we go. Go over to my send panel. Here it is. It's ready to go. All of the uh, cut lines are here. And you can just go ahead and send that over and it will cut. So that's as easy as it is to open an SVG file. Now, another way to get an SVG file into your uh, software is if you were to just grab the SVG file and drag it over. And there it is. Okay. Now that's a little trick if you're trying to figure out what a design is seeing as how it won't show you what it is because it will just put the silhouette software logo here you can just bring it up here and it will show you what that file is so you just click and drag it go ahead and minimize that and again it's already here I'm going to send it over to my send panel and it's ready to cut all right so that is uh, how to use or that is how to unzip a file that is how to use an SVG how to change the SVG and um, the only thing that we didn't go over was the uh, the PNG file that is here and the PNG file is a picture file now I can take and drag it and pull it over and there it is it is a picture file okay so if I go to send it doesn't have any cut lines to it. What I have to do is click on my trace, trace it, say trace, set it to the side, and here is my cut uh, file. So I go to send, and here are all of my cut lines. Now, I do have to mention that to be doing everything that I just showed you in this video, you do need to have the designer, designer plus or business edition of the software. If you do not have designer or above, SVGs and PNGs will not work. So uh, you can need to upgrade your software, not update, 
upgrade. There's a difference. Let me decide on that one. An upgrade is going from one version to the next. An update is updating your software, making sure you have the latest version of the software. So if you are running the basic uh, version of the software, you will need to upgrade your software to at least the designer version. All right, everybody. I hope that kind of took the mystery out of how to unzip your files and how to uh, get your SVGs into your software. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. As usual, like, comment, share. Um, I uh, do appreciate every comment and I, I try to answer every comment that I see. Thank you, everybody. That's it. Bye for now.